And welcome back everybody! It's been quite a long time since I've done one of these videos, it has to be said. Uh, for those of you who are watching this in a playlist years from now, the cha the, the skip from this video, to what, well the last video to this one may have seemed a bit pretty seamless, but uh, in truth, for everyone else at the time, I have not recorded any of this, for, uh, well, for months really now, because unfortunately real life was getting in the way, and uh, sadly, as much as I love doing these Let's Plays, real life always comes first when it comes to YouTube, even when I get paid to do YouTube videos. So anyway, here we are. Uh, you'll have to forgive any kind of absent-mindedness or extra dollopings of fail throughout this next uh, few hours or so of recording, mainly because I need to get back in the swing of playing the game, it's been a while, so uh, I'll probably end up pressing wrong buttons or forgetting things that we've done previously, that sort of thing, I'll have to excuse it I'm afraid because there's nothing I can do. Um, I, you could just say, oh go back and watch the old videos, but actually in order to do that I would have to set aside probably a good five, six hours of my time to go back and watch some of the more recent videos. Um, which I don't really have the time to do, so unfortunately we'll just have to go off of what I remember from journal updates and skimming through some of the previous videos. So anyway, with that little preamble out of the way, let's get on with this, shall we? Oh, man, actually, you know what? I'm thirsty. I should have taken a drink before I started this. I have a bottle of uh, Pepsi Max on my desk right now, and it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it calls to us, precious. It calls to I should no, that's very access thing. I can't do that, but yeah, it's I'm really resisting the temptation to drink it now because I'm so damn thirsty. But the problem is it's a carbonated drink. And uh is this the right way? I don't think it is. Actually it might be. Yeah, it is. Um a carbonated drink is not very good for those of you who don't know, for when you are doing a lot of talking. Um it sort of clogs up your throat a bit. And uh doesn't really help. You really want a still drink, like just a glass of water or something when you're doing a lot of speaking. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a glass of water right now, so we'll just have to suck it up, soldier! Get on with it! So... I'm Dita, magician. Yeah, we know that. We've already bloody well talked to you. There was that whole hullabaloo with Falcar, after all. Absent-minded bint. Right. Ahem. <laughs> Let's um, let's leave. We're leaving Shaden Hall. We're leaving it behind. We're done here with all its silliness. And uh, Idris will be quite happy to see the back of it, he thinks, really. Unfortunately, we still don't have enough money for a horse. And that means we're going to be foot slogging. A lot of the. Unfortunately, Shaden Hall is very definitely an inland city. So, hopping on a boat taking the easy route is not an option. So, yeah, we've got a very, very, very long foot slog ahead of us, because as I said, we, as, as I, well, as I may have said before, we're going around Cyrodiil clockwise at the minute, so next on the list is, in fact, Leowin. So, yeah, as you can see, that's a very long walk. So we need to make some preparations. Unfortunately, as I said, we cannot buy a horse because we do not have enough money. And certainly not enough money for one of the Shaden Hall black horses. So, we are going to have to basically just prepare for the worst. Uh -huh. So, first of all, I do believe I have let, yeah, I've left all my things in the Mages Guild. That's very clever. That's very professional of me, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, let's just go back and get these then. <laughs> Hope you've got enough carrying capacity to use them all. Uh, use them all, carry them all, you know. Um, if we don't, we'll be in the spot of bother, but I don't think we should be too bad. Wow, these doors are really, really low. It's because we're a high elf, I know, really, but yeah, god damn. Feels like we're in a freaking hobbit hole down here. Um, Okie doke. What the? I don't want that. I don't want that. Take it away. Do you want these though? Dum -de -dum -de -dum -de -dum -dum -de -dum. Oh, I've taken this stupid thing again, haven't I? I bet. No, no, it's still there. Good. Okay, so we've got all our sh shite. Uh, 189 out of 215. That is not bad at all, actually. 
Um, that's not bad at all. So, we do have room to go and grab some more bits and bobs. What time is it? I cannot wait while in the air. Nonsense! Nonsense all of it. Uh, 9.07 a.m. So we've got plenty of time before we hit the road. Why do you bother me? Go away! I'm not bothering you. I can bother you if you like, though. Would you like that? Bastard. Reason number 237 why we would not like to hang around Shaden Hall any longer. Oh, pretty fountain thing, though. Sort of. I mean, ugh, I don't know. Actually, that mesh and texture works a bit horrendous. Um, but it's modded, so it gets a free pass, I suppose. Oh, uh, now let's see. Oh, I didn't notice this before. Nice little forge thing. I miss the crafting system from, uh, from, uh, you know, from Skyrim sometimes when I play Oblivion and Morrowind. I really do. I know there's mods to fix that sort of thing, but, uh, unfortunately, they're rarely compatible with a lot of the other mods I have installed. <clears throat> now then, uh, we should probably go here. Borba's Goods and Stores, did that say? I'm not sure. I'm gonna take a drink. Bad idea, I know. Carbonated drinks and all that, but I'm having one anyway. Ugh. I crave fizzy drinks like a drug. Yes? Uh, f fines? No, 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 we're not interested in any of that. Let's do business. Yes, let's. Now then, let's, I don't want any of this crap, do I? No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, that we do want. Some That's bread. Fun. We're doing okay-ish for food, but I don't know whether it'll not it'll last us the entire trip. Let's have lots of corn. Corn's good. We like corn. Nothing wrong with corn. Maybe go without the lettuce, though. Since we lack a portable fridge. Um mutton. A fine. Onion. I wouldn't make that deal with just I'll pass anybody. on the radishes. And oh yeah, strawberries. Right, we already have a bedroll, so don't have to worry about that. Although I do believe I've completely forgotten how you're supposed to pick it back up again. I know there was a weird thing about Wait. once you've put it down trying to pick Bye. it back up again. Or something I vaguely recall. Anyway. <clears throat> um, I'm fully rested, apparently, according to the sleep mod. I've not forgotten about that. That was, in fact, what was causing all the bother before. Uh, as many, 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 many of you were kind enough to point out in the comment section, I've taken it on board. Um, I need, I keep, I'm afraid I keep forgetting about the sleep mod completely. So, um, yeah, if I start yelling like, What's wrong with my stats? Why are they all broken? Me, me, me. I'll just have to try and remember that's what's causing it. So... Anywho, oh my, 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 look at those lovely, lovely stats. It's all thanks to our magical robes and what, what sits and doodads and MacGuffins. Chain holes and um, citizens and visitors. Did, did we read that? I don't know if we did or not, but... You know, we probably should since we're heading out into the... Into the... Um... Outback. Oh, blimey, it triggered a quest. Okay. Announcement to travelers and citizens of Shadenhall. This message is issued by the decree of our most esteemed and loved Count Andal Indaris of Shadenhall. Slave trade in County Shadenhall and whereabouts. Slave trade is a forbidden offense with extremely severe penalties. The Imperial Province opposes this abhorrent act with all its might, which is not a lot. Um, our proximity to the lands of Morrowind has in the past brought to our gates despicable slave traders. We never gave them voluntary welcome, nor we assisted their deeds. The current situation today is not different than before. I have ordered the Shadenhall Guard and the resident Imperial Legion soldiers to report, hunt, and capture any individual or group associated with the banned slave trade. We had hoped that the wake of the Nerevarine... Nerevarine in... Vardenfell would end forever the blemish of slave trade in the province of Morrowind. Despite the current ban which we encourage and implore, the slave traders have gone underground and continue to hunt our fellow Khajiit and Argonian friends in the provinces of Black Marsh and elsewhere. These black market slave traders are usually forced to cross the lands of Cyrodiil in their hunt for slaves. Our mighty province sh offers shelter and aid to those that would suffer such crimes merely for the, their lineage and bloodline. The heightened activity of slave traders near the border of Morrowind spells trouble for our southern communities. We believe that several encampments of slave traders have already been established in the province of Black Marsh and our very own lands. 
In collaboration with the Legion, the Shadenhall Militia and Guard of Breville, we are determined to stop the illegal trade of our fellow beast folk. All travellers, adventurers and citizens willing to aid our cause are advised to help the scouting efforts on, in the lands south and east of the Silverfish River. The Panther River and its tributaries are a well-known sanctuary for Argonians. The Imperial Legion and the governorship of Breville and Shadenhall believe that Dunmer's slave traders are most active in the Panther River region. We urge you to exercise safety, for the perils of the marsh far outweigh the peri the 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 Seek further information in the great city of Breville, should you decide against our council to venture into these dangerous lairs. Unfortunately, there will be no further information to find, for this is simply flavour material. A Shaden Hall warning has been issued uh, recently. It calls attention to the growing black market slave trade as a result of Vardenfell's sorry, ban on um, slavery in the eastern and southern areas of Cyrodiil. Dunmer slavers have been sighted in these marshlands and forests. Militias of Shadenhall and Braville are aiding the Imperial Legion in their fight against these outlaws. The marshes and southern lands are home to many Argonian tribes. I suspect that these are the main source from where slavers get their stock. I see. Uh, this is probably another one of those uh, uh, Skuros overhaul quests, a bit like the one with the Bosma Rangers and stuff that's kind of going on in the background. and You know quite refreshingly does not hold your hand and tell you how to proceed with it actually. It's just sort of there and you can go and investigate it at your will. Sadly, I can go 23 hours before getting sleep. That's good news. That is actually, that's very good news. Um, Yeah, sadly our journey is going to take us pretty much straight slap bang through the Panther River region. Um, so let's hope these slavers aren't hostile to high elves in very flamboyant looking outfits. And I am now going to drink some, drink some more Pepsi. I hope the sound levels are okay, by the way. I did do a brief test earlier. Um, seemed okay to me. All the levels and stuff like that. I, I think the game volume might be a little bit higher than it was in some of the previous videos, but that's fine, actually, because, quite honestly, I think it was a bit too low in the previous videos. I sometimes get really antsy about having my... Uh, voice drowned out by the game um, sometimes because it can get really irritating even if you guys don't really notice it I notice it um, and I, I go to great pains to try and fix it but I think it's alright right about now I think it's okay should be fine no, no, no. oh man were I a rogue character I would steal one of those fine horses and gallop off into the sunset but we are not um, at least not yet, anyway. <laughs> Who knows where uh, Idris's crazy character development will take him. So anyway, uh, ugh, it's a nice day, but in theory we should, we should really put the hood on because... You know, because it gives us gigantical, magnificent bonuses to um, everything. Everything that's useful, anyway. Um... But this is a role-playing. This is a role-playing let's play, so we shall not do that, because why would you put your hood up on a nice sunny day like this? Um, although if we get into a really bad fight, I will sort of break character a bit and probably shove the damn thing on. Um, shouldn't really make a difference, really, should it? Because we're wearing the same robes at the end of the day, and what the hell is this? Prison stockade guard. State your business. Um, I'm just poking around, officer. Oh, okay. What the hell? What's going on here? What's all this about? Uh, you probably shouldn't ask any questions, really. Um, I'll just be on my way. Oh, what, what's this building here called? Prison Stockade Guard's house. Hello. Oh. oh, okay. He seems a cheery chappy. But then again... I suppose concentration camp guards weren't always glum. Anyway, that's a bit of a dark subject. Um, 
That's brought the tone down a bit, hasn't it? Well done. Well done, Jingles. Sterling commentary as ever. Is that. Ooh, I see a shrine. Is it going to be one of Julianos? I pro probably not, to be honest, because they always seem to be everything but Julianos. But we can always try. We can but hope. Ooh, pretty little stream thing. A babbling brook, no less. With a little bridge. Ooh. And a little waterfall thing. How charming. What the? D d battle music accompanied by goblins. This close to the... I see the Shaden Hall Guard is too busy locking up its own citizens to actually deal with real threats. Kraken. Well, let's deal with it ourselves, shall we? Um, I know I have hotkeys for this, but I can't remember what they are at the minute. So, um, hmm. uh, electric torch, that should do it. Blimey, don't freaking... It's my stupid mouse again. It's, uh, the mouse wheel on it is a bit, um, I don't remember the real word. It's a bit loose, and sometimes it accidentally kind of scrolls by itself. It sounds dumb, but uh, it does. And it's uh, slightly annoying. There's more, isn't there? Yes, 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 there is. Have at thee, my lad. Come here. Or my lady, even, because I'm pretty sure that goblin has boobs. Horrible green, saggy boobs, but boobs down there. Oh god, there's loads of them. Oh boy. Suddenly, a tough fight appeared. Um, I love that. Um, and all of those. We've also got shite tons of ambrosia for making health potions, which which is nice. Oh oh oh! For, for, crap 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 crap! What do I? Aha! There it is. Now the odds shall be evened. I hope. Yes, minions. Forward. Um. There we go. Gosh, you're tough. Come here, you. Destruction skill increased. Neat! Neat! I approve! And it's dead. Good. Right, now let's go deal with the rest of them. Like you! I think this dagger's charged up. That's nice. Has to be said. Oh, I'm still. Wow. Lol, you killed your own bandit leader. That's kind of funny. Really, it is kind of funny. Um, let's restore health now. I can take him with a dagger. I'm pretty sure I can do that. Damn it. That's it. Get the dagger out. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hit me. Come on. Don't run away. Those elven arrows. Where the hell did you pilfer those from? Barbed. Oh, barbed bone arrows. Okay. They just look like elven arrows. How strange. Are they worth much? No, not really. I'll have the boar meat, though. And the gold coin. And that. No, I don't want the lockpick. God, that's force of habit again, that is. Mm -hmm. okay, take it. Don't want it. Also. Quick save. Oh god, that's going to take some getting used to. I'm using a different keyboard than the net. I'm using this really old chunky one, which I swear to god was probably manufactured in the 90s. Um, but uh, I have to use it because my wireless keyboard uh, is dead. I need new batteries for it, and I don't have any AAAs at the minute, so I'm going to use this one. Unfortunately, the main problem with it is that the F5 key is like in a slightly different position than my muscle memory is used to. So, um, yeah, it's going to take some getting used to. But anyway, never mind, never mind. It's also a bloody big keyboard and a bloody noisy one, so I do apologise if you can hear me tapping keys uh, throughout this entire video. That would kind of suck, but there it is. Now then. Is that flax? Yes, it's flax. <clears throat> flax is good, isn't it? And lavender, I seem to vaguely recall being useful as well. Um, I think. I've, I have to admit, because it's been so long since I last played this, I've kind of forgotten a lot of the alchemical recipes. Um... Which is a bit bad, really, but never mind. Um, 
Let me just, you know, let's just check this right now, shall we? In fact, we might sit down, eat some lunch, and do a bit of alchemy since we're here, and it's, since it's a nice, relatively nice day. And oh god, look at those arrows! I'm gonna do something about that, I think. Well, we can take a few of them out. We'll have to wait for that one to disappear by 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 its uh, by itself. Yes, this dagger is nice, but it's getting on my nerves a bit with the short reach. I really, I think we really need to um, pick up some some sword training so we can use swords. Um, because yeah, this really isn't cutting it right now, unfortunately. And as I said, um, Idris doesn't get to use a sword until he's actually been trained to use one. So we'll have to find someone who'll train us in the arts of sword play, and hopefully someone who'll train us in the arts of sword play for not a too extortionate price. Um, I had considered simply saying once we get our blade skill up to a certain level, it's 24 now. One more point, it'll get to uh, apprentice, I think, because 25 is apprentice, isn't it? Um, I was thinking once we reach Apprentice that uh, we might, I might simply say, right, well, he's learned enough about hand-to-hand -hand combat now, just through experience, to be able to use the sword, but uh, it uh, doesn't really work that way, I'm afraid, I don't think, for using weapons in real life. I think perhaps reaching 25 blade is a reasonable level, but I want him to have at least one training session with someone um, before we go, before we break out the swords, and I think... Um, I might just say that actually uh, he might have to reach journeyman to start using like uh, big two-handed claymores and such as well. Um, I wouldn't mind using some big two-handed claymores, you see, but um, I think it would just have to represent him building up his physical strength enough to be able to use the damn things, um, you know. But until then, they'll be able to use like stuff like this here, this lovely, lovely little thing here, Adariath's Edge of Ages. What a pretty sword. Anyway, I'm not going to equip it now, but, uh... IMFG, more flax! More flax! This is good. This is very, very good. Unfortunately, I don't think I have any, anything to mix it with. What's this? Oh, it's a little shrine of Telos! A lot like the Skyrim ones, actually. A bouquet of flowers. How nice. And the Wolf Queen, Volume 7. Ooh, do we have Volume 7? I don't know. The Wolf Queen, the Wolf Queen, that should be under T, shouldn't it? The Lusty Argonian Maid, the uh, the Wolf Queen Volume 8, I oh, know, Volume 7 we do not in fact have. And our Speechcraft skill increased, isn't it, as well, nice. Um, I shall, ooh, I'll have to do some reading sessions at some point. I'm still toying with that idea that some people had, by the way, of me doing separate a separate series of videos where we read Elder Scrolls books. Um, we may well do that, or I may just occasionally read a book within this Let's Play, I don't know. Um, Seven Lich? Where did I pick that up from? Wow, nice. Anyway, let me just add this to our thing, Wolf Queen Volume 7. Where, where's our... Herb, derp, 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 where has it gone? Uh, there it is. Uh, oh yeah, there's the right button, okay, gotcha. Can I maybe go up and then insert this a bit, you know, a bit further up next to volume 8, perhaps? Yeah, there we go. Uh, volume 7 as well. Done. Excellent. There might be a few we've not added to that list, actually, since I picked more up. But at some point I will sit down and make sure the list is completely and utterly up to date. Um, anyway. This, uh, this, uh, this, 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 um, this little shrine, we forgot to actually check it out. Also, lavender. Also, I forgot to check what lavender did. That's what I went to the menu in the first place for. <laughs> oh, dear. Not on the ball today, am I? Um, Akatosh. Typical. I mean, um, thank you, Father Akatosh, for your blessing, etc., etc. Um, it's actually quite a good blessing, I think. It boosts our magic, as I recall. Yeah, it does. The drawers of Akatosh are boosted by 10 points. Which is, on the face of it, not a lot, but that would probably allow us to cast maybe one extra spell, one extra fireball. You know, could be the difference between life and death at the end of the day. Anyway, let's, um, I think I can hear people talking, but I can't, almost can't quite tell if it's part of the music that's playing in the background or not. I don't know, we'll go check it out in a minute. Um, also, 
Loot! Glorious loot that I've completely forgotten about. Oh, let's not have that. It's too heavy. Oh, that'll have, though. And the wolf meat, I suppose, yeah. Elf cupcaps. Oh, the cure disease. That's quite useful, I suppose. Oh, those are very good. That's not bad either. Well, anyway. Let's, um... I don't know. I probably shouldn't go sit on the shrine. That's a bit freaking sacrilegious, isn't it? Using the Father Akatosh's Blessed Shrine as a bench. Um... Here's as good a place as any. God, this is pretty. This is freaking, you know. This is bloody up to Lord of the Rings, Hobbit, Peter Jackson film standards. This is. It might as well be New Zealand right now. This is. Oh. Bloody hell. Nice game. I love how it's that old and it can still make you sit there and go, damn. Looks good. Anyway. <laughs> let's actually find out what Lavender does. Could have sworn it. It's useful for something. I know it is. I just can't quite remember what. Yeah, it restores health there. Knew it. Knew it. Knew it was something like that. Okay, doke. Well, well, let's do a bit of alchemy, shall we? Uh, ambrosia. Ball meat. Can black cap. Wolf meat. Lavender sprig. And our alchemy has increased yet again. Fly amenity caps and dragon's tongue. Very nice. That's a crap ton of new potions. Wow, yeah, 30 of them. Jeez. 30. Th wow. Anyway, um. I'm pretty sure I hot barred my. Sorry, hot keyed. Not hot barred. I've been playing too much Guild Wars, it seems. Um. I'm pretty sure I hot barred. I mean, hot keyed. Damn it! Hot keyed. Um. A Welkin stone, which I'm probably going to use to restore my health instead of a potion. Um, anyway, what I want is some lunch. God damn it! Let's have some corn, bread, cheese. I'll do. Um, lunchy poos. We've got anything to drink actually. Now I think about it. Other than potions, which probably taste like cough medicine, if we're honest. Um, I wondered if we had maybe some caffeine left over, but I don't think we do. No. No! I suppose we could take a drink from the river or something, but that's about it. That's about it. Sometimes I regret not installing some sort of mod to add in the need to eat and stuff and drink. But at the same time, I've played Skyrim for quite a long time with a mod like that installed, and a lot of the time it's just plain old frustrating. You know, it doesn't add much fun to the game at all. I mean, I never play without it. I've gotten so used to it, I can't uninstall it. But it's just... I don't know. My feelings are a bit mixed on it. I found Red River Waterfall, apparently. Ooh. The random bucket on a thing. Blimey. It's a long drop. All very pretty. I don't think it serves much purpose, though, does it? Uh, no. There's a few bits in Unique Landscapes, which, um, you know, a few bits like dungeons it adds, which are quite useful. And there appears to be some sort of little village there. Oh, very nice. Um, yeah, there are a few bits that, like, um, add a few dungeon things. Like, I mean, like, there's a few mines up in, the, like, the northeastish part of the map, I think, um, that you can go wandering around, which have, like, all sorts of, like, unique tile sets in them, which is quite nice. Um, it's good fun to explore. Uh, but this doesn't look like one of those. 